What you doing now, Dave? Taking pictures of a tire. Why? Because the sidewall got cut. Why don't we take a picture of the tire? Show the gang what happened. <laughs> We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck, Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car, Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Yeah, once we got to our destination at Fiesta Key RV Resort, I just happened to notice this lovely little slash. Yeah. And it's like, and we hit something somewhere. We contacted Davis Tire Center, and boy, are we glad we did. They came on site and changed our tire for us in a matter of just minutes. stem that I carry on the truck. Yeah. See how it's inserted in the wheel? Right. I'm not gonna have that stem. This stem's not bad, man. Yeah. You're okay. But yeah, you ought to try to get you one that's an extra one to keep with you because this is not an everyday thing. Alright. Because the way it inserts right there. Right. And you have to have a real good thin wall socket to get that out of there. You gonna throw some balance beads in there or something? Or? I, got, I got some. I'll put some in there. I mean, what, what good are those things? They work, but with a tire this heavy of a ply, you know, it's 50 50, but they do work. They work with some triple force. Let's see. Sometimes they come with a pre balancing dot. Continental don't make a pre-balancing dot, I guess. You know, some of them got a dot on it, and we're just mm -hmm. supposed to line the stem up. I'm gonna mount this with the date to the outside, okay? So you can see it. That's the way it's supposed to be. When was that one made? 2422. Two, two. Uh, June 22, somewhere around in there. get done after I put your sensor back on to make sure that your sensor isn't leaking. Alright. Always do to check the sensors. 99% of the flats is all to do with stems and sensors. You going to torque it? Don't need to with that thing you've got. No. Start them out cold at uh, 118. That's why I bolt that 
thing back up. That's just a ball. That much pressure in that little wheel. Yeah. Just in case. I think you're going to find this one does a little bit better on the shoulders layer than the brick soles do. Oh, okay. With that stiffer edge. Uh huh. Instead of the rounder edge. It may not like the twisting as much. Yeah. About 117, 118 right there. Let's see your uh, sensor. <laughs> Did you tighten this up or was it? No, nah, I just leave them loose. I like to squirt it just to double check to make sure this thing ain't leaking. Yeah. Like it, uh, I don't like to leave my job riding on something else. That, that stuff cleans the rim up. <laughs> Maybe you have to wash the rest of it now. Uh oh. <laughs> so Dave, how did he get that tire off the rim? He uh, first he lays it flat on the ground, puts on a rubber mat and lays it flat on the ground. So if you got it on the ground, you're not damaging the rim. So all he does is he takes it and he hits it with a they call it a bead ball. And what it is, it's like a sledgehammer with a blade on it dull blade and you hit it about right here and it pops the bead loose from the rim. And then after that you get in there with what they call a, a, a tire spoon. And you had soapy water on it too. Soapy, yeah, you put soapy water all over it and then you pull that the bead up over the lip of the, the rim all the way around and then you do the same thing on the back side. You reach in from the back side and pull it out. It, it took them like 45 seconds. Oh, yeah. That guy was good. He's good. He was good. But this is supposed to be the monster tire. Right here. That's a J-rated Continental. Continental J-rated. 18 ply. Hey, Davis. Call them. So, Dave. So, Karen. Why do you think we got a slash in the tire? From your aggressive driving. <laughs> Well, you know, you, it looks like you hit a curb or something. But I didn't. No. I, I know I didn't. We only had two turns, two right-hand turns. Mm hmm Yeah. And they were real wide, easy turns. Yes, they were. And you didn't hit anything then. Nope. So. I think it was a pothole. You do? I do. The last campground we were at had a long road to get into the campground and it had some hellacious potholes. They were so big they had shadows. They were pot lakes. They weren't potholes. Yeah. And I know that you couldn't avoid them all. Oh no. So couldn't. Slow down, slow down. Go, go, slow, slow, slow. Oh boy, look at this one. Zippy going for a ride. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh, watch that one. Oh, good God. I think you might be right. I think you could have been. Could have been a pothole. I just don't see where uh, we went. We had two right hand turns and that was it. Both of them were sweeping. So in that case, we drove like four hours and that Bridgestone held together that entire trip. Yeah. And it was kind of warm out too. Yeah, which is really strange because normally a four hour trip we'd take a break, get out, at least walk around and look at the rig, make sure everything's still put together, but this time we didn't get out and didn't stop, so. We will from now on. I guess so. Yeah. How many beers for that tire, Dave, that I see you're laying down now? 
I'd say at least three. <laughs> Why? You didn't have to do anything. I had to make the phone call. Uh-huh. I had to talk to the guy, make the phone call, set up the time, have him come out here, track the tire, make sure it's getting here, see what day and all that. Hey, time is money, and money is what? Beer. I'll give you one beer and the sofa. Deal. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.